welcome to another Mersey Specimen Sea Angler video. Rich here. So we're going to uh, go out on the Rock Channel. First trip out this year, looking for some smooth hound. So I've got Harrison Drive behind me. And I've got the tea groin to my right. And in front of me is a post. So we have to cross a gully that's quite close to the post. And then we'll get up onto the sandbar. So if you see where the white water's running round, that's basically the sandbar. And we're going to head out about a mile. It's about a mile walk. Uh, we're going to let it drop a bit further today because obviously there's a good westerly wind blowing, produced quite a swell. And obviously we don't want uh, one of these waves to go over the top of our waders as we go over past this first gully by the post. So uh, I'll give you an update as we're walking out. It's quite an arduous walk and I would not suggest, if you don't know what you're doing on this mark, please do not do it. Please go with someone who knows. And if you do do it, make sure you get off in enough time before this closing gully fills with water or you will be cut off. fully dropper rigs out at the minute both with the uh, peeler crab on with uh, 30 panel on 30 chinu on the top close together with a knotless knot and uh, fairly blustery conditions fairly stiff westerly wind blowing in so that's sort of coming in across us but uh, reasonable size tide about 1.9 at low I think so uh, we'll have about three hours out here over lunch. It took a little while to get out because of the, the swell going over the, the channel. So uh, I shall see you later on. So tackle today, the old century Excalibur sea curves. Pen, Fathom 2 casting specials, a 19 pound line on, 80 pound shock leader. So uh, just down there for me is Will and Jay, and that way is Steve. So no fish yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Baits are getting stripped quite a bit at the minute. So, uh, recasting fairly frequently. Hey folks, quick update. So, uh, so there's been a lot of crab out there. Baits are getting stripped really quickly. And um, so casting out quite frequently to try and compensate for that. Um, just actually changed one out onto a squid bait to try and keep it out there a bit longer. I might do a squid wrap over the next crab that goes out just to try and keep some bait out there long enough for a hound or a ray to find. So uh, we'll keep going. Okay, first fish of the session. 
little dogfish just hope we don't get plagued with these through the session on crab lovely fish though, still love them absolutely amazing fish dogs, I absolutely love, love, love dogfish only in matches though, not pleasure fishing tidy dab so far and, uh, but made up Steve's caught a hound anyway he's just off to the left of me so that's it's the first one we know of on the shore out the Mersey this year so well done Steve and uh, I think Jay and Will behind me in a similar position to me on oh, dab I think they've had a, a dog fishing so uh, just got to keep plugging the baits out hope something comes through Hi, so uh, tide's on the flood now, so we don't get a huge amount of time. 40 minutes or so, before we, even an hour at most, before we start walking, making the walk back. A uh, very slow session for me, just a dab and a whiting. So, uh, a blank. Really. So, uh, Steve's had a one hound, I think. Dave's had similar to me, maybe dogfish as well, and Will, the other side of it, managed a small hound about four pounds. So, uh, not a great number of fish here by the looks of it. And, uh, generally fairly quiet. No rays at all. I thought I might pick a ray up on the, on the squid bait that I've got out, but no signs of life in that at all. So, uh, yeah. Early days, early days on the hound, so we will be back. Okay, so we uh, finally had the first fish out on the bank. And I'm absolutely buzzing with this absolute stonker of a ray. It's got to be pushing a PB for me. 
Um, caught it on the up and over rig on some uh, peeler crab. Look at this absolute beast. <laughs> it's probably the smallest ray I've ever seen in my life. Absolute perfection in miniature. Absolutely stunning little fish that is. Beautiful. But look at the markings on that. That is going to be an absolutely stunning fish that when it grows up. But uh, it's the first fish on the bank. And look at that. Absolute beauty. Absolutely beautiful fish that is. Little tiny bay. But I'm going to get this fish back now anyway. And uh, we're going to crack on. But it's the first fish on the bank. Ladies and gentlemen, first hound on the bank here. Not a bad fish as well. Uh, this is just added now, so there we go. Lovely starry smooth out. Absolutely beautiful fish. That's what we came for. And it's the first one on the bank, so I'm absolutely made up with that. And that fell on peeler crab. Uh, I'm gonna get this fish weight now. Uh, I've got my, uh, my weighing sling here. Very, very important whenever you're weighing these sorts of fish to make sure that you're supporting them exactly like I am there. And even when you're handling these fish, make sure you're supporting their body. You've got to protect their organs. Don't be dangling by its tail, weighing it by its mouth or its gills. It's just poor fish care. Look after these fish. So I'm going to get this weight down in the net. Okay, so there we go. First hound, me, seven pounds. It's about seven pounds ten, I think, seven nine. There we go, as you can see. A bit windy today, keeping this steady. But it's in its, uh, it's in its sling. Weighing the fish correctly. I've already taken off the one pound five ounce for the net. And there we go. Seven pound, seven pound eleven is that? So I made up with that for the first fish. First fish of the year. First move on. There we go. Absolutely lovely fish. Look at that. I'm gonna get this fish back now anyway. And see if we can get another one on the bank. But that's a great start. That we'll bring you back. So currently down there, that far end there where them flats are, is uh, you've got the tea groin down there. And that's where we walk out, that's where you have to wade through. But as I say, this bank that we're fishing on here, it's a, it's, it's a large bank. And behind it is a gully that fills in. Don't, don't be risking anything, you know. The rewards when you come out to this venue can be absolutely brilliant. The fishing can be fantastic. Some, some lovely fish to be had. But, you know, is the reward worth the risk? I don't think so. So, and it really, really floods in. You know, you will get caught out, so be very, very careful. So I'm, I'm only gonna give it now about another half an hour, and then I'm gonna head back. As so I have uh, managed to get me targeted species for today. Half an hour left. Be nice to get another fish out on the bank. But if not, I've had a brilliant night anyway on the beach. So thanks for watching. We will see you soon. Bye for now.